and about this morning running errands. Tomorrow is the first day of autumn officially and as always we have our autumnal equinox celebration and I'm so looking forward to it. So I'm just running errands for that, getting groceries and also picking up the cake. I ordered a cake from Publix which is our like local grocery store chain around here and they have a phenomenal bakery but it's also a lot more affordable because it's through the grocery store but they have such talented bakers and they did the cake last year and did a phenomenal job so I'm excited to see what they came up with this year I didn't give them a whole lot of direction besides of course like I want the more autumnal colors and I wanted some mushrooms on the cake because that is just a reoccurring theme of this year so We'll see what they come up with. I'm excited to see it. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up some food, the cake, gotta go to the post office, just getting things done so that tomorrow we won't have to leave the house. We can get our work done, decorate, work on some more recipes and whatnot, and have a beautiful time. So that's the plan, and I'm going to carry this vlog through the rest of the week. However, Tomorrow I'm gonna film like a whole separate vlog that'll probably come up first So if you haven't seen how the full party came together, you can watch that now But in this vlog we'll do a bit of a behind the scenes of all the prep and getting ready for it But I'm excited to spend time with you all unloaded everything and want to give you the scoop okay here's the cake it's so cute I do have something that I'm sort of realizing now but here let me just show you a full peek of it absolutely adorable so something that I'm sort of wishing I specified which again this is not the baker's fault whatsoever they did a phenomenal job but the green just feels very stark to me. I definitely like more of a natural autumn palette. So the green with the red, it's sort of giving me Mario and Luigi just with those stark primary colors. So we might tweak it a little bit. I don't know, I, I'm hesitant to touch it of course because it is adorable as is. So maybe I'll just like gently try to pull off some of the green and I feel like as simple as that is that might make a difference but again it's super cute but if we have time today I might try my hand at that but thankful about that and it's carrot base which I'm not super crazy about carrot cake but I felt like it just fit with the season a bit better and the buttercream frosting it smells delectable so excited to enjoy that tomorrow and then for food I picked up this chicken pot pie it wasn't my plan to pick this up, but I saw it and I'm like, hmm, that kind of fits. You know, pie is very autumnal and it's nice to have savory options, of course. And then I picked up these Hawaiian rolls and I'm going to do a 
baked Hawaiian roll like slider sort of situation with um we have turkey and then I also picked up provolone cheese so hopefully that'll turn out well and I feel like that's an easy snackable dish to share because you just kind of pull it apart and you're able to grab as many as you want and then we picked up some mustard which I love mustard truly I want like every flavor of mustard so we have this deli style mustard and then this honey Dijon mustard. Yum, yum, yum. That looks delectable. And then I got some Wickles, which if you've never had these, these are really tasty. They've got a kick to them, but they're so good. That actually makes it even better. I love spicy things. And then we have some mac and cheese. I have this cheddar Gouda mac and cheese and then just classic cheddar mac and cheese. And then I also grabbed these. I personally don't love these, but I feel like they're good hearty snackable thing to have out and then I got these uh mini chocolate chip cookie dough pack for book club tonight actually so I'm excited to do that tonight and these are you can't go wrong with chocolate chip cookies it's my number one favorite dessert they're delicious and then I also picked up cream of tartar for a recipe we have later today I'm really excited about it hopefully it turns out okay but I've never baked with cream of tartar before but it makes for light and fluffy desserts. So we have that. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. And then I, I'm also going to do a harvest kale salad, but I already have the ingredients for that. And a few other things. I'm baking sourdough tomorrow, so it'll be a yummy feast. Oh, also, I met the sweetest subscriber at UPS. She's such a beautiful person. We got to chat for a bit. I'm just always so thankful when our paths cross in real life. It absolutely makes my day. And I hope I get to meet more people in real life soon because it really is so special. But that was great. And we're feeling good. I'm going to sit down in my office for a bit and make more of a game plan. It actually looks like it's about to rain, which is kind of surprising because it's still quite early in the day. up most of the green from the top and I do like it a lot more already of course you can still see remnants of the green so I don't know part of me wants to sprinkle cinnamon on top too but that is a risk because I could not like that and then that would be really messy but we'll sit on it a little more the green comes off pretty well but again even though it looks a little funky I already like it more without the green I just heat up some soup. I made some minestrone for our soup of the week and it's so good. I love how there's pasta in it so it's a bit more filling. Also, I love these soup crocks but they are quite small so I always have to get seconds but they are adorable and keep the soup nice and warm. But I'm going to enjoy this and get some work done. And I did want to thank Squarespace for partnering with me for this portion of today's video. I adore Squarespace. It's a platform I've been using for years and years, ever since I was in college when I first created a website. And my content has evolved since then, and my website has evolved since then. But Squarespace has been there for me and really equipped me with the resources to customize and really create a website that I'm proud of. So if you're interested in creating your own website, definitely check out Squarespace. I love that they are an all-in-one platform and really help you build that beautiful online presence. And I love that you can display posts from your social profiles on your website and automatically push website content to your social media channels so that your audience can share it and see it. And they just have so many different amazing features to make your life easier. You can also sell digital and physical products through an online store and Squarespace has all the tools you need to start selling online. So I love it for so many different reasons. And again, if you're interested in checking it out or creating a website for yourself, you can head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bickerstaff to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. So I hope you love that. And I have been updating my website. So I have the fall bucket list on there and the fall inspired coffee recipes well we have coffee tea different drinks like that but 
hopefully that's a great resource and landing place for you to find some inspiration but like i said i'm just going to do a few computer things and then we're going to bake something fun soon us to do a bit of baking. I'm really looking forward to trying this recipe. This is the goal. These are mushroom meringues. How cute. They look so natural looking. I'm I'm hoping it'll turn out okay. I feel like it will take some finesse to get the mushroom shape, but we will use a piping bag. I briefly read through the directions which i probably should do a more thorough read through but we have all the ingredients it's really not that many that many ingredients at all so that's kind of surprising because it seems like it would be a bit more complex but we'll try our best and i really hope they turn out so i did read through the directions a bit more thoroughly and one of the first things i read is to not use organic sugar or organic coarse sugar i'm not sure the phrase but to use just like that plain white basic sugar and I don't have that I have cane sugar which is really thick and in the in the recipe she was like yeah don't use that because it does not work well she said it sucks so that's kind of a bummer she didn't I don't know I don't know I really don't want to have to go and pick some more up so I think I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best, but I'm not feeling as confident as I was a few minutes ago. <laughs> feeling better because this looks just like the baker's picture in her recipe so I'm hopeful. The hardest part is getting frosting or in this case meringue into the piping bag. That's what I struggle with the most because it's so messy. So fluffy. Over here, Brandon's making us some coffee. We got a lot going on at the moment. <laughs>
washed our mushrooms. They are so cute. I'm so happy they turned out okay. So they're upside down right now because they're still very sticky and then the chocolate is drying. Let me try to find one that's pretty dry and secure. Here's one. It's so cute. Let me find another one. They're very sticky. Like they keep sticking to each other, but <laughs> they're adorable. I'm so I'm so glad the sugar wasn't an issue because if you compare cane sugar to just regular white granulated sugar, it looks pretty different. So after I read that, I was a little unsure, but didn't seem to be an issue at all. And let's do a little taste test. This one, here, let me see if I can actually fix this because this one wasn't staying very well, but okay, I got it. Um, I made extra tops. I guess I didn't count it correctly. I was trying to do equal tops and bottoms, obviously, but let's give this a taste test. Mm. Crispy. Fluffy, light. It's not the yummiest thing ever. The ingredients, again, it was just, oh, and that one doesn't have any of the chocolate on it. Here, I have some extra chocolate. Cause, oh, I never explained it, but to stick the mushroom bottoms to the mushroom tops, you take a knife, do a little, drill a little hole in the bottom of the mushroom top, and then stick the mushroom bottom with some chocolate. So that'll add some nice flavor. Yeah, it's good. It's nothing phenomenal. Definitely more for the cuteness, but it was a fun little thing to bake and experiment with my first time making meringues. So that was good. It was, it'd be fun to do pumpkin spice meringues. I wonder if that would be yummy or if that would cause complications with baking. I don't know. I'll have to look that up, but that is our creation of the day. And I did bake some cookies for book club her toll house deliciousness so i'm about to head to book club our book of the month was 1984 let me go get my copy i have it right over here so i checked out the graphic novel ver version of 1984 which this is a classic and it definitely isn't my style <laughs> absolutely not it is quite Oh, I'm trying to find the words. It was very curious. I definitely wanted to keep reading because I wanted to know what was happening, but it's Big Brother. If you've heard of the term Big Brother, there's a show called Big Brother. That is the main... Oh, goodness. I'm having a hard time explaining this book, but that is one of the main theming, themings of the book is basically Big Brother is watching the society and you have to do whatever Big Brother says and all of this stuff. It was pretty dark, <laughs> so definitely not my favorite or go-to, but I'm really excited for our conversation this evening and excited to see what the other ladies think and have to say because I feel like they're going to have some really great perspectives. And yeah, it was definitely a experience reading it, and I'm glad I did because it is a classic with quite a bit of buzz. <laughs> Friday morning, but it's actually 1 p.m. now. Still in what I wore to bed, <laughs> staying nice and cozy this morning. The fall party, the autumnal equinox party celebration was last night and it was so special. I'm so grateful. It was such a beautiful and fun and memorable night. And today I am feeling a little sleepy because of course it was a lot of setup yesterday and cleanup and you know, socializing. So I blocked off some time this morning to rest and just stay nice and cozy and kind of recharge a bit. So this has been a really nice start to the day, but there is a few things that I do want to get done today because tomorrow my friend Faith and I, we are going on a super quick little trip. We're going to Long Island and we're staying in this cute little bed and breakfast. We're gonna get brunch at a castle tomorrow. We are gonna have so much fun and I'm so looking forward to it. So today, 
of course I need to pack. I'm really just bringing a backpack. Again, it's one night, so we're gonna be pretty, we're gonna pack lightly. And so I wanna prep for that. And then I did clean up a lot after the party last night, which I'm thankful I did that. Waking up this morning, I was so thankful I did that. But I still wanna mop because I haven't mopped in a while and it is always like nice to do after having people, like a good amount of people over. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a quick mop. I probably should vacuum again just before that. Do a quick mop and then we're gonna go on a walk soon, get some fresh air, vitamin D, and then I wanna take a shower and we're waking up really early for our flight. So I'd love to do my hair tonight so that I can wake up and I'm not gonna put makeup on for the flight or anything, but so I can wake up and my hair will be a little bit put together and polished and we'll be on our way. So that's the plan for today, but I'm excited to spend time with you all. And I definitely will try to take some clips while we're on our trip so that you can see the adventures. Cadence cubes this weekend. Oop, there they go. <laughs> They're really cool. They're magnetic cubes that you can put different products in so that you don't have to take the whole bottle. And I think it'll be really handy and they're just so fun. And you can switch out the tiles too for different, um, you know, different labels, but I'm really excited to use them. early faith and i were off to the airport for our adventure we went to long island new york which was such a sweet trip i never really spent time in long island before so it was neat to see new places and we stayed at this incredibly precious bnb called the harbor rose it's painted this super blush pink color and every detail inside is so incredibly charming and endearing Shortly after we arrived, we went to brunch at Oheka Castle, which was absolutely gorgeous. It's this stunning estate that truly reminds you of royalty because it's so intricate and grand. Also, fun fact, this is where Taylor Swift films the music video Blank Space and Kevin Jonas got married here. So there is a lot of history, both modern history and older history, so it was super fun to explore it. And it was such a gorgeous day, about 70 degrees, so we were able to wear cozy sweaters, which is a novelty for us Floridians.
After brunch, we went back to the B&B and got settled a bit. Also, our innkeeper has this precious dog named Prince, and he gave us lots of love, which was absolutely a highlight. Also, I have to mention, our innkeeper reminded me of Lorelai Gilmore because she's a single mom with a daughter, so there were definitely some parallels, which I found to be quite delightful. We even saw chipmunks, which was exciting because we don't have those back home. Then we were off to Huntington, which was just about 10 minutes away for a comedy show, which is the main reason we even came to New York. We went to go see one of our favorite podcasters, Girl With No Job. And after the show, we just had a cozy evening. a fire in our room the fire logs were really cool because they were made out of recycled coffee grounds and then we went over to sweetie pies on main which is the main street of cold harbor and we got some yummy pastries for breakfast and just took in the sweet town also went over to the library which was just down the street and this is one of the most stunning libraries it wasn't open because we went on sunday but we were able to see the view from it and the architecture but that's a quick recap of our trip thank you so much for following along on this vlog i really hope you enjoyed it and that you are well and i cannot wait to see you next bye